All right, we're doing the video here for um, the overhead squat ass assessment for the functional movement. So it's gonna be pretty simple. Um, it's just like having them do an overhead squat. Uh, you, so you wanna make sure that you have them in the right position, um, wearing the shoes that they would wear during their competition. Um, hands directly over their head. You don't want them to have leaning over or anything like that. You wanna have them directly over their head. And then just tell them to sit in a uh, chair. And while you're doing this, you want to um, film, you want them to do five squats, um, body weight only. Uh, and you want to film one from the um, anterior view and one from the lateral view. You can do the posterior view, um, but you won't get a whole lot out of doing that. And it just would make them take a little bit longer to do it. But you can do it if you want to. And then um, when, you, when you're doing that, you're going to, when you're watching the video, you're going to hand pull out your handy dandy little chart here. And you're just going to go through the things. Um, so one of the things is uh, when you're looking at the anterior view is do you look, does the foot turn out and then you look at the right and the left one and you mark it. So then you just go through that checklist and you do all of that. And then um, you pull out this sheet or you can also just use your, you can think about it, but you know, why not use a sheet if you have it um, and uh, look at what that means. So the one we did yesterday in class, Hannah's foot, her left foot turned out. So if you go to this one, um, left foot turns out. So this means that her soleus, her lateral gastroc, and her biceps femoris are overactive. And that means that her medias, medial gastroc, her medial hamstring, gr gracilis sartorius, and palpiteus are underactive. So this means that you need to strengthen the uh, underactive muscles and then... Um, uh, stretch the overactive muscles and you need to make sure that you strengthen the underactive muscles first otherwise it's, you're not doing anything you're just going to go back to where you were before so but it's simple you just follow the chart